So I'm just going to teach some licks in standard tuning, the key of A uh, for Delta Blues, and it's a lot, um, it's a lot, it's a sloppier feel than say the old, you know, or Stevie Ray Vaughan or any of those guys. So um, first of all, what we'll do is we'll learn our chords in the key of A, which most maybe you already know. I don't know. We'll go through them. Here at the second fret, we've got this A7. We've got this like here, which is an A7. And you can put your middle finger there. Usually I have a slide on. and uses that or A diminished and that's just this is our A7 this is an A7 and these are the fingers the fifth fret your middle finger on the second string, fifth fret, six or uh, yeah, sixth fret, fourth string, third string, sorry, and on your fifth string at the fifth, and then just leave the rest open. This is an A7 chord. This is your A7 chord. Okay. This here, it's some, I think it's an A7. I don't know what it is. But you can walk all the way up. Okay. And it's at the 12th fret your middle finger on the third string, first string, the 12th fret, and then down on the 10th on your second string. And then you take that and you go up to, that's like an A minor, I think. Okay, and that's on your 12th fret, so you're just basically reversing it. And instead of going here, so I go. And then into your D. Okay, so now we'll learn where our D chords are. I use this one here. Basically, what you're doing, you're taking your D, reversing it to a D7, then you're moving it up to the fifth fret, first string, second string, third fret, fifth string, or third string, fifth fret. That's a D7. This is your D7. You can put this on the bottom. D7, 
seven. <laughs> Once you learn all these little chords, positions, and everything, one thing I learned about the Delta Blues and listening to the old guys and the old records is that it was a very improvisational music. It's full of mistakes. Um, some of the mistakes turned into really cool licks. Um, sometimes they didn't play the same song the same way twice. So you just learn all these positions and then you just kind of play around the neck and do your own thing. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
shot pick too because some people don't use finger picks. Now for me it's a lot harder to play this stuff with a flat pick because I don't play with a flat pick. So your flat pick is taking care of your bass. enough on the D chord. You can use this note. They all use this note. Robert Johnson used it. And here all I did was, was in the A chord. So where your A7 is. And they come back to your A.
these different chords that I showed you, you can just interchange them while you're playing. So just practice doing that. So I'm going to add a slide in here in standard tuning in this little ditty that I'm doing. Now a lot of people don't play slide in standard tuning. I always recommend that you learn it because especially if you just have one or two guitars and it's a pain tuning back and forth into open tuning. Um, I was going to put up a longer lesson on standard tuning slide but there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest in it. So what I'll do is I'm just going to add it to this little song. This is a D7 too. So I was playing A7. Go to a D7. And there's an E7 here. mistakes in there but that's the blues that's how you learn and um, sometimes that's how you discover really cool licks one of the reasons I like to use a slide in standard tuning especially in this style of music you didn't hear the old guys who were playing like Charlie Patton and uh, Sunhouse did some standard tuning stuff Robert Johnson, you didn't hear them playing slide in standard tune. You didn't really hear them 
they weren't doing, they didn't do any solos like, say, you know, modern blues guys like Stevie Ray Vaughan. And I just find that with the slide, it's a lot easier to kind of break the song up and make the song more interesting. <laughs> positions all over the neck in every key that you can play to make it more interesting. <laughs> 